Welcome to the 2021 exhibition opening of the IB Year 13's beautiful work. To our right, we have um, Eden's work. Hers is a very much a self-reflection, understanding her own identity, especially during COVID lockdown, um, obviously being isolated and feeling quite alone in her party alone piece just here. Um, Eden also um, feels like she's always, as a Chinese person, having to strive for perfection. So this particular piece is about her anxiety towards having to be perfect all the time. This per, uh, piece here, Lost, is her kind of feeling as she's um, going through the motions of navigating um, her life in Thailand as a Chinese person. As she goes and graduates through and gets to university, her um, sense of, of identity. We have more of Eden's work. This is a screen print here, which is, um, she's taken the photos of herself and superimposed them over the top of a statue, which she is trying to say things about her um, having to put herself forward in a way that is presentable to the public. This um, ceramics piece was carefully crafted over a series of time and it's about her having a conversation with herself. Another ceramics piece here, she um, worked very, very hard to try and make all these pots exactly the same size. Inside them, as you unstack the pieces, they have glass inside and it's all about the beauty that you have to unlayer from within a person that you don't always see when it's all together. So it's about unlayering people and not just seeing them for their value straight away. And finally, this is her last piece, which is a little bit more fun. When we went to Singapore, she took a selfie in a public toilet because she wanted to talk about the fact that how ridiculous it is often that young people feel the need to always take selfies and um, the most inappropriate places to take them. So um, I, I feel like this um, just gives a little bit more Eden's humour um, to the, to the um, exhibition. Yeah. Over, over here we have two artists' work. Um, the first one is Arena. Arena was um, the, the student out of the class that spent most of the, the time away from school. She's only just come back from Russia. So a lot of these pieces she's um, done about herself and her family and her feelings towards um, her, again, her identity and her family and how precious they are to her. This is a a photo series that she did of her cousin who she feels is like her sister and they're very very close so that's a, a piece that is quite personal to her. This is um, again a ceramics piece which she has used the glass to adhere to a plate. Her, her quest for looking for surrealism um, and melding two artists. One is Lucas Syllabus and the other is obviously Salvador Dali. Just exploring the ideas behind surrealism. And lastly, these two pieces are about, this is about Thailand and this is about her um, dreaming of um, the, her homeland in Russia. So it's the two sort of senses of identity that she she shares while living here and being away from her family. Next we have um, Taya's work. She obviously, as you can see, looked very um, strongly at Jackson Pollock and his expressive work. This was quite a cathartic uh, process for Taya. 
having come back from the Ukraine. She was quite frustrated with um, trying to make art. Um, so she was looking at Jackson Pollock and making large pieces with expressive um, mark making. And then you can see the development of ideas where she has um, used the same process. But then this piece here is about her and her family. She's the little dot in the corner, isolated away, being in Thailand, away from her family who is still in the Ukraine. And again, she builds on this two more times. This next piece is another Jackson Pollock inspired, but she's used glass inside because Pollock also um, used objects into his work and embedded them in using the paint. But the other thing that is very, very personal to her is she shaved her head. When she got very, very frustrated, she started to pull her hair out and got um, clumps of hair and so she shaved her head. And in here you can actually see she's placed strands of her hair into her work. So um, again, very, very personal, but it is also something that Jackson Pollock did as well. The next piece is quite brutal. Uh, it is called um, Suffering for Success. Um, and again, um, Taya has used things to place on top. We've got the nails, we've got the glass. She placed um, on top of the canvas a spinning wheel, which she used to drip the paint onto, and the paint then spread and splattered around a little bit like the mud. On a much happier note, um, that she also did start looking at portraiture. Um, and these two portraits, um, one is herself as Riviera, which is almost like a, a selkie or a, um, a mermaid from Ukraine folklore. And the next one is um, her mother. So she's put those two together because her mother is very, very dear to her. And here we have Jai's work. Jai spent a lot of time looking at the human form. Um, he was really, really interested in how to express certain postures um, through um, drawing um, the figure and um, avoiding using a lot of the facial features to express his ideas. So this piece was um, a layering and it's called Storm of Mankind because it feels like um, these people are like falling out of the sky. The next piece, Rainbow Slip, he did digitally and um, was exploring Photoshop for the first time and came um, across just this one particular filter that created the aesthetic. Jai actually posed himself for all of these um, particular poses um, and then worked over the top of them, layering them up. Jackson Pollock features once again. This is a screen print series where we took a lot of his drawings that he made for Storm of Mankind and he um, layered and layered and layered in um, oh, more than a hundred probably sessions of screening um, in different colours just to build, build up the texture. This piece here um, is inspired by Jim Dine. He was looking at positive negative space. Jai posed again for himself um, and we were looking at the mask and COVID and staring into the abyss of what was to come for um, Jai post-graduation. So this piece is a little bit um, 
darker than some of his other work. Maximus is um, a lovely chalk pastel um, artwork. Um, we had um, one of the students, Max, who did pose for Jai to do this. He again used the chalk to create positive negative space quite well. This is um, Jai's um, piece that is inspired by our artist in residence, um, Boy and His Sunset. Um, we had Kanjana Kumkruf um, work, do a workshop with the students for a, a few days and they produced a piece of work. And the sunset is from where his family home is. And lastly, one of my favourite pieces, I have to say, because it epitomises Jai, um, inspired by Andy Warhol, who did a very similar pose. Um, Jai, um, Jai's on the picture, and I think it's fairly self-explanatory. A little bit of pop art. And I have to say, he did suffer for that photograph because the jersey he is wearing is thick wool and it was 35 degrees when we took the photo. Okay. Here we have Mild's work. Her um, studies are again about her identity, um, her feeling of feeling lost, um, living up to expectations, um, and just um, trying to navigate life um, as a teenager in Thailand but soon to be moving on to university. So a lot of her ideas are expressive about her emotions and the way that she feels or felt at the time. So it's almost like a diary of her emotions. We've got here feelings. A lot of this work was inspired by an artist called Sunga Park and Heijong Lee. Different emotions here, beautifully done. There's a little um, glitch. got some beautiful pencil studies here. Anger, portrait, and happiness. We also um, did a screen printing session, so um, Mild loves Japan and Osaka um, particularly, and this is a place that she would go to often um, on a holiday. So we did this uh, screen print session with her exploring how she felt or feels about Osaka. Reach is, I guess, reaching into the future, into the possibilities of her life. M, which um, she made out of wood and painted and assembled, makes the letter M, which is from her name Mild. And lastly, a little bit um, different, but divide, similar style, um, but we've, we've got the layering now and the fragmentation.
So this is the work of Nanya. Um, she does a lot of digital work, uh, very much inspired by steampunk and um, a lot of video games. Uh, so this, this triptych here I call Three Honeymoons and um, it's about the placement of um, these couples on their honeymoon. Each of these are made or generated from photographs that she's taken herself and then drawn the um, characters inside them. This piece here was one of her first pieces that she made. Obviously, um, we have the school in the background and she saw the school as um, sort of like a, this big industrial style uh, school that could have been an asylum or something like that and she tried to make it feel a little bit more dark and um, used, used the photograph to work from. Dr. Alakura is part of one of the characters. She, she creates these characters and writes quite strong backstories to all of them so um, you can actually see the potential of them becoming their own story. This is her childish eyes based on the works of Kanjana um, from the workshop as well. She tried to steampunk herself, it's a self-portrait. And this highly detailed work is Twins Agony. They are conjoined twins um, and they have their own disease. This is like a rose, rose petal disease that um, she created. So, um, they're a little bit tortured, those two. This piece here, Church of the Stitch Boy, um, it takes uh, a few looks before you actually see all of the detail. Um, the stained glass window, the feathers and the wings, the flow of the hair. And then if you look a little bit deeper, you can see textures of leaves and vines growing in. And this is her last piece. Again, a beautiful ceramics piece, which unfortunately um, had to be reassembled in parts, but it actually adds to the idea that this is part of a ruin in a slightly post-apocalyptic um, world which she has created. Okay. So there you have it. That is the 2021 Year 13 exhibition. I hope you enjoyed it.